In only five minutes, I'm going to show you how you can host your GitHub repository with GitHub pages and add a custom domain both from Namecheap. So I have my GitHub repository that I want to host here. And if I want to host it, I have to make it public. Currently it's private. And to, for me to make it public, I need to go inside settings. And we'll just wait one second. And you need to scroll all the way down, click on change visibility, then click on uh, make public, then you just copy your repository name, paste it here, click on I understand, and then your repository will change to public, of course, uh, after you enter your GitHub password. And boom, now we don't have this private here, so that means that our repository is public. The next step is to, of course, uh, host this GitHub repository since now we've made it public. So go again, go into settings and then you have pages here. So click on pages and then just to enable pages, you just need to do click on here none and select your branch you want to host. Um, for me, it's master. Most probably it's for you as well. Then click on save. And now we've successfully hosted our website at victorkuzmanov.github.io slash bobtaito. And then we will uh, change this. Now we will change this for a custom domain because this does not look professional. So the next step we need to do is, of course, by the domain that we want to add, the custom domain that we want to add to the GitHub page. And assuming you've already done that, go into Namecheap, log in, of course, into your account, and go into the main list here, account, the main list, and here you will see the, the all domains you have bought from Namecheap. This is very slow for some reason. Then you'll see your domain here. This is my domain I want to use. Click on Manage. Then if you scroll down into Name Servers, uh, this name cheap basic DNS needs to be selected and not any of the other option If any of the other option is selected make sure you choose name chip and then click on this check mark That will pop up here now the next thing you need to do is go into this advanced DNS tab and here down here You need to add a new record so click here and you need to add four a records so I'm going to choose a record and for the host you want to just do an add symbol and for the IP address you need to do um, all of these four actually but not at once We're, each uh, IP address is a different a record so that's why you need to add four records for each IP address so I'm going to copy this first IP address paste it here and ju then just click on save changes and I'll do this uh, three more times. And then the last uh, record you need to add is a C name type record. So instead of a record like we did before, I'm going to scroll down, click in this C name record. And then for host, I'm going to do www. And for target, I'm going to uh, go inside GitHub pages and copy this. And basically, I'm just going to, instead of HTTPS, do www.mypage and paste this target over here. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to delete the path and then I'm going to click on Save Changes. So now that we've linked Namecheap with uh, GitHub Pages, we need to just add our custom domain here that we bought at Namecheap. For me, it's Bob Tyro. Dot com and I'm going to click on save and now just uh, after a second uh, it says your site is published at bobtitle.com so if you click this link go go up here so if you go to that link you will hopefully see your site this is my site it's very basic but uh, that's how it is you can see it's not secure uh, but if you go inside pages, you can enforce HTTPS. For me, it's not yet available. I need to wait for some certificate, but that's basically it. <laughs>